This was from the last celebration for the, the article in Nature. And I think the ones up there are from when we trapped out to hydrogen and I don't know what else. Maybe we're just drinking. <laughs> That's what keeps you going, right? That uh, you, you be the first to look at something in this corner of the universe. I'm sure that we're all slightly motivated by that, although it's not something that'll keep you going 16 hours a day when you know, the bits don't fit. Any, anytime you do something this complicated, you know, something can go wrong, and that, that something can set you back a month. So it, it, it is risky. Oh, there's thousands and thousands of parts. I, I mean, for sure, from very large things like the things that are sitting on the floor that weigh thousands of kilograms to these tiny, tiny little half millimeter parts that uh, are used to construct the trap. What Will's job is for today is to get this thing into the magnet so we can start playing with it. So, uh, in order for the antimatter to not annihilate, it has to be very empty of matter. Uh, so we do that by basically using pumps to pull out uh, as much gas as we can from the space in which the trap resides. Uh, but pumps alone aren't enough. So what we do is we cool the surfaces inside the trap and all the remaining gas ends up freezing out onto the surfaces that are cold. And then it provides a very good environment to capture antimatter. Yeah, there's always a risk when you start from, from scratch that there's some fundamental mistake that you've overlooked. But I think we know pretty much uh, what we're doing and have a good chance. But uh, it's going smoothly so far. Yeah. So, uh, can't find my words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with interviews. You can quietly kind of be like, ah, oh, wow, no disasters. <laughs> don't ask. You, you just don't want to know. <laughs> It'll be okay. Maybe we'll lose a couple days of beam over this, right? But we're, we're embarking on something much more ambitious for 2012. So this kind of thing can't happen again. <laughs> I, I was, uh, <laughs> you think this is glamorous, you know, and you read about it in nature, it's, it's on the TV. I was, uh, at the end of the last run, I, I found myself sitting on the floor trying to fix a power supply and we have ice on our, our machine. It was melting and dripping and I'm in a puddle and, and it's just not glamorous. But I'm still thinking, that, you know, this is the best job in the world. Uh, how could you not do this? <laughs>